Multiple levels of collection dot default dict in Python. Thanks to some great folks on so, I discovered the possibilities offered by collections default dict, notably in readability and speed. I have put them to use with success. Now I would like to implement three levels of dictionaries, the two top ones being default dict and the lowest one being int. I don't find the appropriate way to do this. Here is my attempt. Now this works, but the following, which is the desired behavior, doesn't. I suspect that I should have declared somewhere that the second level default dict is of type int, but I didn't find where or how to do so. The reason I am using default dict in the first place is to avoid having to initialize the dictionary for each new key. Any more elegant suggestion? Thanks Pythoneers. Use. This will create a new default dict int whenever a new key is accessed in D. Another way to make a pickleable, nested default dict is to use a partial object instead of a lambda. This will work because the default dict class is globally accessible at the module level. You can't pickle a partial object unless the function, or in this case, class, it wraps is globally accessible, under its underscore name underscore, within its underscore module underscore, pickling wrapped partial functions. Look at Nosclo's answer here for a more general solution. Testing. Output. As per it wish Fiat's request for D key, plus equals one, we can expand on previous by overriding addition by defining underscore add underscore method to make this behave more like a collections dot counter. First underscore missing underscore will be called to create a new empty value, which will be passed into underscore add underscore. We test the value, counting on empty values to be false. See emulating numeric types for more information on overriding. Examples Rather than checking argument is a number, very non-Python, am I right? We could just provide a default zero value and then attempt the operation. Late to the party. But for arbitrary depth I just found myself doing something like this. The trick here is basically to make the deep dict instance itself a valid factory for constructing missing values. Now we can do things like, 